Hey everyone, this is Rick. And um, yesterday, we noticed that we had um, an issue with our, our one and only apple on this tree. Very unfortunate. So today I will be cutting this off and disposing this, not even letting it compost. Because if there's a moth worm in there, uh, in the, uh, the insect, the larva, anything to do with that, uh, if I put that in the ground, compost it, that larva still stays alive. Today I come out and I see a ladybug. And guess what that precious little baby's doing? Eating aphids. And then you look on the other side of the larva, or the ladybug, and there's this little son of a gun. Squash. Oh, missed it. So then what we do is we start, you know, this makes me think that there's something going on when you start looking at, at this. And these are the things that you have to look for. Okay. Here's another really good example. See if I can catch this in the light. Right there. All aphids. And they will go nuts on this tree. And start causing damage and, and changing and altering our ecosystem. As you know, we're, we're building an ecosystem where we want things to thrive. And this will put stress on the tree and not every leaf is affected you know we're in we're, we're, we're good there but there's little little areas as you can see that really are and we will we will have to get on this right away and we will this this will be this will be dealt with as soon as I'm done with this video in fact I already made prior to coming out here this is one cup alcohol quarter cup Castile soap and then I have um, a tablespoon of neem oil the ladybug is doing its job so what I'm gonna have to do prior to coming out here is I'm gonna have to take this ladybug and and move it someplace else um, so that I can clean this up. And, and we don't want to destroy the ladybugs. They, 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 they're like the ants. They let us know what's going on and, and what, is, what needs attention and what doesn't. And as soon as you spot a ladybug, you better start looking at leaves and undercarriages of leaves on top of leaves. Ladybugs are all about eating and, and managing their ecosystem too. And they provide a massive, massive service to to our, our urban farm um, but if, if if we if I if I don't know what I'm looking for and I see a ladybug and I'm like oh cute a ladybug let's take a picture of it and post it on Instagram that's 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 all fine and dandy for some for me it's understanding what is happening within this ecosystem that causes all of that because that right there is no good. No bueno. And uh, we're going to get on this. So thanks for hanging out with me today. I just wanted to show you just a, a little bit about, you know, when I'm doing my rounds in the mornings and, and I'm looking at uh, most every plant, um, I'm, looking for, I'm looking for signs. I, I'm looking for signals that could lead me to think there's something else. And then I have a bunch of options that I can go through. And I've learned this through experience. I've learned this through trial and error. I'm learning this through having to replace plants that have been completely uh, devastated by something. And when you start looking around and you start seeing what's there, like here's a bug, you know, is, is this the little critter? Is this the little son of a gun that's, that's causing, causing damage? You know, I don't know, but it's gone. I'm not taking any chances. Got to protect what's ours. And right now I have a lot of time and care um, and joy. 
in, in, in these in these crops, in these trees, in this orchard. So, all right, everybody, happy Friday Eve. This is Rick Borden with Arizona Urban Farms. We're hanging out today in Scottsdale, Arizona, 85254.